Xiamen, an island city in southeastern China, is known for its abundant tourism resources. With the beauties of a small subtropical island, only a little over 10 kilometers in diameter, it attracts tens of millions of visitors annually, an astonishing number. In this video, I will take you to this island and show you not only the common attractions, but also the elusive lives of creatures struggling to survive in the rim of the artificial world. When a person speaks of Xiamen, it is impossible for him not to mention the sea. The sea that surrounds Xiamen Island is the East China Sea. It is not only a scenery to appreciate, but also a catalyst of economy. Starting in Ming Dynasty, 400 years ago, Xiamen had been a marine commerce center that connects China with Japan and Southeast Asia. The ocean continues to play an important role in Xiamen's economy. After so many years, in 2011, the value added of Xiamen's marine industries accounts for 11% of the city's GDP. An important component of these industries is no doubt tourism. The opportunity to get an intimate contact with the sea invites many visitors from inland China. Despite the beach bustling with people, hidden creatures enjoy their private lives in the tidal zone. On a mud flat exposed after the tide retreats, sits a pebble crab trudging through the mud. Two flatworms run on a rock protruding from a substrate. Chitons, a primitive mollusk belonging to a class Polyplacophora, adhere tightly to the exposed rock surfaces, with suction produced by the ventral surface. Similar to sea snails of the same phylum, they feed on algae. When the tide retreats, it leaves small water puddles known as tide pools. If you look closely, you will find each of these tide pools a tiny aquarium of local marine species. Gobies are the most commonly seen fish in Thai pools. With a slender body and natural nimbleness, a goby is never troubled by low water level and complex terrain in the tidal labyrinths. Sea anemones establish a colony. They are mostly sessile and unlikely to leave the pool. But their ability to retain water after the tide drops keeps them hydrated until the next high tide. Various crustaceans occupy their own sectors of intertidal zone. Transparent barred estuarine shrimps hide beneath a boulder. Their puddle is continually replenished by the tide, which brings in fresh water and small prey. Crabs and hermit crabs, on the other hand, dare to venture the land but most of them stick to water to avoid predators from above. Their dual role as predator and scavenger allows them to gain upper hand in the competition for survival. Feather dust worms contract into their flexible tubes to avoid dehydration. The sonophid worm also lives in the tube. Unlike feather dust worms, this worm decorates its house with shell fragments and algae scraps for durability and camouflage. An unidentified polychite bursts itself in sand and exposes only tentacles for feeding and breathing. A brittle star does the same. In this state, some brittle star species can stay hidden for over a year. Although lives of the intertidal zone are rarely visited by people, humans still make an unpleasant presence with the garbage they produce. In a few hours, the tide will rise and the intertidal zone will once again be submerged under waves. <laughs> 